How's it going everybody? My name is Kevin Lowe, I'm a classical guitarist from Singapore and I'm currently a music undergraduate student at the University of Cambridge. Now I'm not in the UK at the moment, in fact I've been back home in Singapore since the end of March when countries started to shut down their flights and close their borders because of COVID-19. In fact, I sincerely hope that you and your loved ones are continuing to stay safe and healthy during these difficult times. So for those of you who have been following the channel, you guys will know that all of my videos have been my way of sharing my passion for music and the guitar through my recordings. And so this is actually the first ever video where I'm speaking to all of you directly. I'm really excited that I'm finally working on this video because it's been a long time coming. Although I have to admit that my speaking skills in front of the camera still leave something to be desired. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I can continue and improve these videos, do feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below, as it's always great to hear from you guys. Now for today's video, rather than the guitar, I'm going to be talking about something completely different. Now, although my father was my first ever guitar teacher, he has always been in the IT industry and therefore technology has always been something that runs in the family. In fact, I've been regularly getting messages from friends and other musicians who have been asking about what sort of technical equipment that we use to record the very videos on this channel. And I think that's definitely something in the pipeline for future videos. But in the meantime, I'm incredibly excited to kick off my first ever tech video with a new addition to the audio collection here in the Low household. Introducing the new and highly anticipated addition to Sony's 1000X series, here are the new Sony's WH-1000X Mark IV headphones. These just arrived yesterday and I'm incredibly excited to open these up and share with you some of my thoughts on this incredible successor to the already famous XM3s. So before we have a look at the headphones, let's have a quick look at some of the accessories that come along with it. Now just like the XM3s, these headphones come in a really nice fabric case along with a mesh behind it. And in terms of cables, we have our standard 3.5mm headphone jack, along with a Type A to Type C cable, and an airline adapter. Now onto the actual headphones. I decided to pick the black version because when I saw the XM3s with its matte black and copper finish, I was immediately hooked and I knew that if I got the XM4s, these would be my color of choice. It still has that incredibly nice premium look and feel to it, just like the XM3s. And as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's clearly the approach that Sony has taken with the XM4s. However, this being a new product, they've clearly added some exciting new features to the mix as well, including multi-point connection and wearing detection, which means that my music will automatically pause should I decide to take my headphones off, and my music will continue to play again if I put them back on. They've also included a great new feature called Speak to Chat, which reacts almost immediately. This adds yet another level of convenience to having a conversation by automatically disabling the noise cancellation in your headphones as well as using the internal microphones to pick up the sounds of your surroundings, all without having to physically remove the headphones. Personally, I really enjoyed this feature, but I can see why others might not like it, but you can easily go into the Sony Headphones app in your mobile phone and disable it. Speaking of the Headphones app, you can choose to adjust a wide variety of features on this app which adds yet another level of functionality to this already incredible device. With features such as your noise cancelling optimizer, the 360 Reality Audio, DSEE Extreme, as well as mapping the custom button on this set of headphones to your liking. You'll also be able to find firmware updates that Sony has released as well. At the time of this video, Sony has just released a firmware update to version 2.0.6, which is really quick and easy to install. Now I've had the opportunity to try some of the older models of the 1000X series as well, starting off with the XM2s, which my father currently owns. Now in terms of the sound quality, the XM2s have a very decent sound, but in terms of active noise cancellation, the XM3s were already a huge leap forward. And in terms of comfort, when trying on the XM2s, it was very clear that there was significantly more cushion in the headband of the XM4s rather than in the XM2s. You're also looking at a time when Sony was still implementing their micro USB connection for their headphones rather than USB Type-C. Some of my close friends also own the XM3s as well, and that was actually how I got to try the amazing noise cancellation of the XM3s for the first time. All of my friends were incredibly satisfied with the comfort and the sound quality of these headphones, 
and I knew at that point that I had to keep my eyes open for the XM4s when they came out. Now, if you already own the XM3s, would I recommend you getting the XM4s? I'd say that the XM3s will probably last you a long time, so there really is no rush to get the newer model. Unless, of course, you are a die-hard fan of Sony and you have the money, then by all means, go right ahead. However, if you're like me and you don't currently own the XM3s or a device of a similar class, then I would highly recommend checking these out. The XM4s are an incredible pair of headphones, but I'd be prepared for the hole you're about to burn in your pocket. The retail price of the XM4s are at 549 Singapore dollars, just like the XM3s when they were first released. But because of the new product, Sony has had to lower the price of its predecessor. At the time of this video, Sony Singapore is offering a $100 cashback on the XM3s, putting it at a price of $449. And on top of that, if you're lucky, you might find additional discounts flying around elsewhere, but there is no guarantee and your mileage may vary. Either way, you couldn't possibly go wrong with the XM3s or the XM4s. In summary, Sony has taken the already incredible XM3s and made them even better with the XM4s. Being a long-time Sony customer, the headphones of the 1000X series just continue to amaze me, and I'm really excited to see what else they have in store in the near future. Once again, my name is Kevin Lowe. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.